In this lesson, we're going to learn how to identify the volume and surface area of composite figures. Now you might recall that a composite figure is made up of multiple shapes. Also recall that volume is a measure of the amount of space contained within a given shape. Volume can be measured by finding the number of unit cubes that fit within the shape. And surface area is the combined area of each face of the figure. So when you're talking about volume, you're talking about inside the shape. And when you're talking about surface area, you're talking just about the surface area or surfaces of the shape itself. Let's try a problem together. Rosina maintains the school garden. She uses an old shed to store the mulch for the flower beds. She needs to know the volume of the set shed so she can buy enough mulch to fill it. Now if she needs to find the volume, we need to look at this figure and determine which shapes make up this composite figure. If you notice here on the bottom, because it's a shed, you've got a rectangular prism, and I'm going to highlight the edges of this prism in yellow. As you can see, it's just a box. Now we're going to find the volume of that, and then we're going to separately find the volume of the top part of the shed here, or the roof area, right? And this is a triangular prism. So if we're talking about the rectangular prism on the bottom, we find the volume of a rectangular prism by multiplying the length times the width times the height. Now let's go to the figure and find these measurements. The length and the width are down here on the bottom, so you've got 12 feet and 8 feet. 12 times 8. Now what's the height? The height is over here of 9 feet. When you multiply these numbers together, 12 times 8 is 96. And then times 9 gives you 864. Now don't forget your units, right? You're given the measurements in feet, so this is feet. And since we're talking about volume and we multiplied three dimensions, right, it would be feet cubed. Now let's talk about finding the volume of the triangular prism. The volume of the triangular prism is found by multiplying the base times the height. And in this case, the base is the area of the triangle. So let's go ahead and find the area of the base, right? Because the area of the triangle can be found by multiplying 1 half times the base times the height. So let's go over here on our figure. The base of the triangle is right along this edge. And this has the measurement of 8 feet. It's the same thing as the width of the rectangular prism. So you're going to have 1 half times 8. And now the height. The height is right here in this dotted or dashed line. That's 3 feet. So when you multiply this out, 1 half times 8 is 4 times 3 is 12. And this is 12 feet squared because we're finding the area of this area right here. Next thing we want to do is apply this value we got to the volume for a triangular prism, which is the area of the base, which we found already as 12 feet squared, times the height. And the height in this case is the distance that runs along here, which is the height of the triangular prism. And we know the measurement is 12 feet. So we're going to multiply 12 feet squared by 12 feet. 12 times 12 is 144. And this is feet cubed now since we're finding volume. And let's just slide down a little bit so we can take this all together. So if she wants to know the total volume of this shed, she needs to add together the volume of the triangular prism plus the volume of the rectangular prism. So that would be 864 feet cubed for the rectangular prism plus 144 feet cubed for the triangular prism. The grand total here is 1,000. 8 feet cubed. So this is the number of cubic feet that she has inside the shed, and she can use this number to determine how many bags of mulch she needs to buy to fill it all up. Let's try another problem together. Rosina also wants to paint the shed. Each can of paint costs $15, and it covers 200 square feet. How much money will she spend painting the entire shed? Now this includes the roof and the door. So she's going to paint all the external faces. Now first, we need to think about, what do I need to calculate to know how much paint she needs? The paint goes on the surface of these walls, so what we need to find is the surface area. And we have a composite shape still, so we have the triangular prism on top, and we have the rectangular prism on bottom. Now let's find the surface areas of each of these shapes separately, and then we'll combine them together. 
Now for the rectangular prism, the surface area can be found by using the dimensions of each face to find the area and then multi multiplying by 2. Let me show you that formula. So now let's go ahead and get these dimensions from the figure. If we're doing the length times the height, the height is 9 feet here and the length is 12 feet across. So you're going to have 2 times the length of 12 times the height of 9. 12 times 9 is 108 and then you still have times 2 and this is a total of 216 feet squared for the length times the height which would be this face right here and multiplying by by 2 also covers the space in the back of the shed that's directly opposite this wall. Now let's talk about the next one. We're going to add this to 2 times the width times the height and the width is right here 8 feet so you're going to have 2 times the width of 8 times the height, which is 9. 8 times 9 is 72 times 2, and then you get down to 144 feet squared. So we're going to add this to the other value we got. And that represents these square ends, right? The front and back of the rectangular prism. Now this last part of the formula, 2 times the length times the width, well, what would that cover? Length is right here, 12 feet. Width, 8 feet. So that means what you're finding the area of is the bottom right here and the top up here. Now, she's not going to paint the bottom of the shed because that's the floor. And she also doesn't need to include the top part of the shed because the roof covers that. Actually, that's not even a surface. So we're not going to have to add 2 times the length times the width because she's not needing paint for that which means to find the surface area you would just add 216 plus 144 and when you add you get a total of 360 feet squared. Now this covers the rectangular prism part. Now we need to talk about the surface area of the triangular prism that's on top. Now this prism has two triangular bases right here and here and sorry I just blurred out but the height here is three feet. So we need to find the area of the two triangular bases. So one triangular base would just be one half times the base times the height. Now we're going to multiply this by two since there are two of these. Two times one half is just one. So now we're dealing with the base times the height to cover the area of these two triangles. The height is three feet and the base is the width here of eight feet. 8 times 3 is 24 and this is feet squared so this covers the triangular faces here. Now you've also got the sort of rectangular sides here coming across right this forms the sides of the roof. Now this is a parallelogram right so we need to find the area here. We have a measurement of 5 feet which represents this line and we know the length of this line is 12 feet. So what we're going to do is multiply 2 times the area of length times width. So 5 feet times 12 feet. And I multiply by 2 because there's two of these rectangular faces, one on both sides of the shed. 5 times 12 is 60. And multiplying that by 2, you get 120 feet squared. We have got the surface area of the bottom rectangular prism, 360 feet squared. We've got the triangular faces of the top roof, 24 feet squared, and the sides of the roof, 120 feet squared. So what we want to do is add all of this together. So you're going to have 24 feet squared plus 360 feet squared plus 120 feet squared. Adding all this together, you get 504 square feet. Now we need to think about how much paint she needs and how much that's going to cost. Now I need to scroll down and make a little bit more room. Each can of paint costs fifteen dollars and it covers two hundred square feet. So if we need to know how many pa uh, paint cans she needs, you're going to divide the total surface area by the number of square feet that each can can cover. So you have 400, uh, 504 feet squared divided by 200 feet squared. When you do this, you get 2.52. Now, she can't buy half of a paint can, so this means we need to round this up to three cans of paint because that extra 0.52, she, 
she'll need to go into a third can. Now if they each cost $15, now multiply the cost by the number of cans, which is three cans. 15 times 3 equals 45. So Rosina is going to have to spend $45 to paint the shed. In this lesson, you've learned how to find the surface area and volume of composite figures. Thanks for watching.